Right. Uh, the next one is from Delusional. Uh, Tim Storms, Lonesome Road. Never heard of that. I mean, sometimes I haven't heard about the song or the title of the song, but perhaps I have heard it sometimes. I don't know. Tim Storms, Lonesome Road. Wait. Is this a bass voice? Man with world's lowest voice sings Lonesome Road. Is it the first video? Oh, I see Peter Barber has reacted to this too. <laughs> Beware of the bass. World record holder. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Ooh. Okay. Very excited. Okay, let's check it out. Man, I'm and I'm I've listened to a couple of uh bass singers before. Let's see. Oh Marina Rain Zed the Voyage. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But that's your next super chat. Range is down to G7. What do you mean G7? G7 is a very high range. It's not a low range. Don't you mean G1? G7 doesn't really make sense. That That's the upper range. G7 is very high. Delusional. I don't... I don't think... Are you sure? G G7 is a, is a high note. It's not a low note. G... Negative seven. What does that even mean? <laughs> G minus seven. What did that? What did that? What does that even mean? Is that you mean lower than the keyboard of the piano? I mean, I guess we'll find out either way. <laughs> Let me check it out. Here we go, delusional. Yeah, but it, yeah, Infinix. I thought he was saying G seven, but it's G minus seven, G negative seven. Okay, let's <laughs> let's check it out. I don't even know how that sounds, but here we go. I got a wall. I'm going to turn it up a bit. I want to hear the full experience of this. <laughs> Man. Man, already the way he comes in with the notes. Uh, he, he comes in with a very bassy sound already. It's not always just the, the, the pitch... But also the sound that that he gives. It sounds so bassy. Mountains. 
Mountains I wonder, like, if you would talk to this guy, how that would sound. <laughs> the Lord will be my guide. I've got to walk. Got to walk. That lonesome road. Lonesome road. I cannot even fathom. I cannot even fathom how low that is. I would not even. I don't think I would be able to even find find the pitch of that. Oh my god! Got to walk, 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 walk that lonesome road. Lonesome road. Guys, I think there is an earthquake coming. <laughs> what? Lonesome road. Lonesome road. He'll go with me. Through the valley. And over mountains high. Why do you even need a bass guitar or a bass instrument? He sings lower than that. <laughs> if I fall, if I stumble, if I falter, the Lord will be my guide. I've got to walk. He has a lot of control too. <laughs> what do you even say to that? Uh, I don't know if it focuses to that, but... Man. My hair is standing straight up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's crazy. Oh, wow. He needs a collaboration with Dimash. Dimash is G7 and this guy is G G negative 7. That would have that would be a collaboration to behold. That I'm um, oh man. One would overpower the other. I mean I think they might complement each other. I think they need somebody in between those ranges too. Like somebody for the middle range, Dimash for the high range, this guy for the low range. I mean, I know that Dimash has a, has, has a, an incredible range himself, but I mean, he cannot do two voices at a time, of course. Phew. They even use his voice to dislodge kidney stones. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, there are... So I was thinking... There are... You, you have to listen to this with headphones. Surely. Like, if you don't have a good speaker, 
I think you might not even have the the frequencies to hear it. That is crazy. Like I said, I cannot even fathom. I I cannot even think like what pitch that was. If you wouldn't have told me it's the G negative step, I would have never guessed. Damn. I mean, you technically can use two voices. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, sorry. Uh, can use two voices. A time called overtone or even three called three tone or only very few things. I mean, I've heard that um, Diana Ankudinova can do that. Uh, an overtone. I think she can do that, but Google him for info. Well, I will uh, definitely... But I think I will do that after the live stream. But delusional, that was one hell of a suggestion. <laughs> that is incredible. <sighs> okay. Uh, Storm Storms is a deep bass. He possesses a vocal range of ten o ten octaves. Are you serious? 10 octaves. He has extended his lower range to G negative 7. 0.189 hertz. Like I said, like a lot of a lot of like smaller speakers wouldn't even be able to produce that sound, I think. Man. While breaking his own record for the widest vocal range for a male singer. Oh, he has that record too. His lowest frequencies can only be heard by elephants and various animals that use low frequencies for communication. I mean, so he cannot hear his own sounds then. If humans cannot hear it, how can he hear it? He's human, right? An Iranian man named Amirosain Male holds the Guinness Book of Records title for the highest vocal note produced by a man. F sharp 8. F sharp 8. Man. There are some unique people in the world. <laughs> there are some unique people in the world. Infinix, damn, that's insane. Uh, Maj did note so powerful like no one before or after him. Which note do you mean, Shika? Uh, delusional, you gave a super chat, but no suggestion. Oh, yeah, Tom McDonald's brainwashed. Lilith, actually, I think that's outdated. A, ge a girl named Georgia Brown hits a G sharp 10? She's not very known, but I think she's currently... She I think she currently holds the record. I thought it was Dimash, but his was very high for a male. Perhaps he holds the... Um, perhaps she has the record of, in general... I mean, it makes sense that a girl has this has the record for the highest note, and that a male has the record for the lowest note. That makes sense. Uh, I think for me personally, hitting an extreme high note is more impressive than extremely low note. I mean, ah, uh, that is a hard discussion. I think, cause both ends require a very advanced technique. Like the these highest whistle notes are insanely hard to produce that sound, but these low notes, I would, <laughs> those are perhaps the underdog here, when it comes to uh, range or difficulty. 
literally the underdog. Jesus. Well, the D8, like the F sharp 8, that's higher. Right? So this name, Amirosine Malay, I don't know who that is, that Iranian man who sung the F sharp 5, that's higher than the D, uh, F sharp 8, sorry, than the D8. Ordinary whistle notes, not so powerful. I don't say they're powerful, but the difficulty, it's not easy to control. <laughs> it's not easy to control. I mean, it's it's a hard discussion, I think. Because uh, most people that are able to hit, to hit whistle notes, in general, they're not really the strongest when it comes to uh, vocal fries and... Uh, and, and, and growling basses. So it's hard to compare, I think. I found a Georgia Brown video with the G sharp 10. Man. <laughs> That's very extreme. 